There are many differences between the words used in the US and in the UK, whether it's simply pronunciation or completely different meanings altogether. It's not all lever and lever and leisure and leisure, there are a ton of words and phrases that can cause confusion. In recent years there's been a major increase in the understanding of the two dialects between each other, and younger people in particular are aware of the meanings of lots of American words simply because everyone watches American films, or should I say movies. But if we both speak English, why are our spellings and words so different? Whereas some spellings such as catalogue are results of the simplified spelling board of the early 1900s, the main guy responsible for the differences in American spelling is the lexicographer Noah Webster, who standardised American English with his dictionary in 1828. Before then, Americans generally used either spelling, but Noah Webster basically chose his favourites and put them in his dictionary. One of the main reasons behind his choices was because he actually wanted the American spellings to be distinctly different from the British spellings, so in many ways, he's responsible for the standardised American spellings of favour, humour, and standardise. For the purpose of understanding, I'm going to talk about Standard American and Standard English, although if you want to hear more about how there is no such thing as a single British accent, click here. Starting with pronunciation, and disregarding the fact that the general accents are so different, there can be a lot of confusion between the words, and sometimes it can sound kind of funny if you're not used to it. I remember going to America and hearing herb pronounced herb for the first time, it sounded so weird to me. But the thing that gets the most confusion is the lexical differences, the words that we use in the UK, and how they translate to their American counterparts. Sometimes they're easy. We know that flat equals apartment and that chips are crisps, but often there is a complete lack of understanding. Once I referred to a queue meaning a line of people and was met with blank faces, which was strange to me as I'd always thought it wasn't a particularly niche dialect word. Sometimes they're pronounced the same but spelt differently, for example favourite or colour or centre. Sometimes it can cause confusion because a US word for something might mean something completely different in the UK. Like what Americans call a crib is generally known as a cot in the UK, but a cot in the US refers to what's known as a camp bed in the UK, and as you can see this can get confusing. But sometimes there is simply not an accurate synonym in the other culture, for example, I don't know what A-levels would translate to in the US unless there's a very specific set of exams that American students take in their final two years of high school. And high school is another one, only a few places in the UK call it that, it's usually secondary school or senior school. Similarly, the Ivy League is a phrase in American English that refers to a set of eight prestigious schools, but they don't have this terminology or this concept in British English, so the closest possible counterpart would probably be the Russell Group, which is a group of 20 or so historical universities. The word school is another one. In the UK, we would hardly ever refer to university as school, because school is what you go to until you're 18. However, the most important thing to know is that no British sentence is really complete without the words excuse me and sorry. I hope this helps you understand the difference between a few words and phrases in British and American English. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.